All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Rosh, and this is a video series I'm putting together called Axe Effects Three Basics. I wanted to thank each and every one of you guys for uh, commenting, reaching out to me via email, uh, Instagram, all that, and uh, asking for question. You know, asking questions and um, giving suggestions on what future videos you would like me to do. So this is a video series I'm putting together to give back to the fractal community. Uh, because I wanted to show some of my approaches on building presets and how to use some of the Fractal products. Uh, I think I'm also going to be going over other products like um, that are usually used, like such as like the RJM uh, MIDI Mastermind, you know, the Mastermind series and all that kind of stuff. Um, so anyways, a little about me. My name is Rosh, and I'm a guitar player and guitar tech out here in the LA area. Some of my clients include Def Leppard, Perfect Circle, Melissa Etheridge, Bush, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, in the last video I did, I did a uh, tutorial kind of basics on the FC12 and kind of touched on the FC6. They're both kind of interchangeable. It just depends on the buttons, um, but they're programmed the same way. So uh, in this video, I wanted to go over the FC12 hold functions. If you want to see some of the basics on assigning, um, you know, effects and scenes to foot switches, watch my previous video. Anyways, uh, the hold functions are really, really powerful. And so um, here's what they are. So basically, um, what you can do is every button, and if you're familiar using the FX8 or the AX8, um, you know, previous generation Fractal products, they introduce this hold function. So if you hold down any of the foot switches, it actually um, will do a secondary function. So the hold functions are right here that you want to assign a foot switch. So um, for now, here's what we'll do. We'll just do scene one through five at the bottom. And uh, so we'll just do that really quick. And what I'm doing is I'm selecting the category of what I want to add. And we're going to do scene three here, scene four, and scene five. And uh, if you're actually interested in hearing any playing, there's probably not going to be any playing in this video. This is more just covering some of what how to use the FC12. Okay, so we have scene one through five, and of course the bottom buttons are going to reflect, you know, whatever scene you want. So this is scene one, and then right here it's going to say that, and um, or you know you can call this your clean scene or whatever, and it'll say that down there. Now, any of these other buttons up here, um, let's assign this to the drive block that's in this preset right here. Um, and so what we'll do is we will assign this effect to turn on. So we want to select effect and then we want bypass and then we want to select drive and we want to make sure that corresponds to this drive, which is drive one right here. And so what's going to happen is that when you engage this button, it's going to turn this drive pedal on and off. And of course the preset will load or the scene will load in the state that you save it in. So make sure that if you want the drive off, when you select the scene and you want it to just be toggle in the foot switch, make sure it's in the bypass position right here. You can use spacebar, you can double click, or you can turn it off on the FC12. Um, okay, so now a situation that comes up a lot um, that's really great for using the hold functions is instead of, let's say, you wanted to use channel B on this drive. So what a lot of people end up doing is like they're like, oh, I want to overdrive sounds, and they end up adding a second overdrive block and then they start running out of real estate. So you end up having like effect and a drive two block. And then now this is gonna control this drive, which is a rat. And then let's make this a uh, tube screamer. So now you're using two drives and you're using two buttons on your foot switch. Now, if you wanna stack them, that's okay. Cause then you can stack and drive one into drive two and all that. But if you're in a situation where you either are going to use one drive or the other, but never both at the same time, I would actually recommend, and we're going to just reset the switch right here. Um, what I would recommend is actually using the AB, the channels, in the drive block. So let's put a shunt here. Uh, there we go. And let's say you want to use the rat distortion in channel A. And then you want to use the Tube Screamer in channel B. So here we have channel A is the rat, and channel B is the Tube Screamer. 
Of course, you would adjust your settings as needed, but for the scope of this video, we're just going to cover how to use the FC12 to be able to select between channel A and B. So a powerful function that you can do is using the hold function to select which drive pedal you want to engage. So for example, right now the drive is bypassed. If you use the hold function, what's going to happen is we're going to select the effect, and instead we want to Instead of using bypass, we want to either toggle between two channels or channel select or channel increment and decrement. Probably the most common way to use it is channel toggle. So below, we're going to select drive, and this is going to be corresponding to drive one. And you can see right underneath here, it says drive A and A. So you're going to select a primary channel. Let's use channel A as our primary channel, and then channel B as our secondary channel. And you see these little brackets that are right around here? So what's going to happen is that you would tap this foot switch to engage this block. But if you hold the foot switch down, what's going to happen is it's going to select B. That means you, and then it's going to default to this tap um, function. So what you're going to actually do is if, for example, this was in channel B, the foot controller is actually going to have brackets around B. And then if you just tap this button, then it will turn the effect on and off, but it'll be the B channel. So right now, you can see it's a tube screamer. And so tapping it on and off would result in turning B on and off, but if you hold it, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna go back to channel A. So if you hold it, it would go back to channel A. So this is a really powerful function. And you can do this between channel A and channel C, or channel A and channel D, or whatever two channels you would like. And then this is a cool function, channel toggle. So if you have, um, you know, let's say you're going to have a reverb, and let's say this reverb is going to be like your standard, you know, room reverb, but then you want channel B to be like a, uh, we'll use the Nimbus Stratus or something, some really washy reverb, and you're trying to toggle between these two reverbs, and you're never going to be in a situation where you need both on at the same time, I would recommend using the channel toggle hold function. So, and what's going to happen is underneath here, it's going to show you between what channels you would toggle when you hold down the effect. So um, I'll demonstrate again. Let's add a reverb here. And we're going to use effect. And we're going to use, uh, where is it, reverb one. OK, so tapping this button is just going to engage the reverb. But the hold function is going to um, change Again, channel toggle, it's going to toggle between both channels of the reverb. And you can do crazy things, like for example, you can toggle between two uh, separate effects that aren't the same effect. So I don't know if you would ever want to do this, but I'll demonstrate. You can actually toggle between the drives here if you want on the reverb switch. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but you have the option. Um, I have built a preset before where I use the hold function to toggle between um, two amp sounds, but that is pretty rare. I definitely wouldn't recommend it because it can get a little confusing. So again, we're going to select the reverb right here, and then we're going to select the primary channel and the secondary channel. And so again, holding this button down, or this button down, is going to toggle between channel A and channel B of this reverb. And of course, however you save the preset, or the scene is going to reflect here. So you could save it in channel B. You can save this um, scene as to load verb in channel B. And when you save it, it's going to load it with this reverb on, the channel B reverb, which would be the Nimbus Stratus. And then if you hold this button down, it's going to toggle to the A reverb in channel A. <coughs> Excuse me. And whatever you want the scene to load in is totally cool. So one final thing that is pretty common, and again, these you, you have a lot of different options. So instead of using two blocks to cover two separate sounds of the same block type, you're better off using channel toggle to toggle between these. Now, let's demonstrate where you would toggle between two different functions or two different effects. Pretty common. Um, you would want, let's say, utility. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna assign the tap tempo here. And then if you hold it down, it's gonna be the tuner. 
So for example, if you go to utility and then tap tempo on the FC12, it's going to, you know, tap in time, use this as a tap tempo function. But if you hold this button down, so again, hold switch, and you go to utility and you want to do tuner, what's going to happen is that right underneath there, you can see what the hold function is going to be. So if you are just tapping this, it's going to tap in time with the tempo. And if you hold this button down, it's going to turn into a tuner. And then you would select it again to get out of the tuner. So a uh, pretty powerful way to get the most real estate out of the FC12. So if you have, you know, let's say five different effects in this preset, but you have two different channels on each effect, uh, ultimately you're actually doubling um, the amount of effects you have up here. So for example, let's say you have two different overdrive sounds, two different reverb sounds, maybe two different and this is definitely something that I do a lot is, uh, you know, two different delay types of sounds. So we'll do bypass and then um, delay. And then I'll use the hold function um, to do, to toggle between two different types of delays. And um, we'll do A and B. And for example, like one thing that I do with delays a lot, uh, we'll just extend this over here for right now, is that. I will have delays, like a delay block, and I will set it at two different tempo subdivisions. So I'll have a delay in eighth notes on the A channel, and I will have the same exact effect, um, but, you know, in triplets, for example, or something like that. Because, you know, you can't really sync up eighth notes and triplets with the tap tempo really comfortably. So um, what's going to happen is in the A sound, you get eighth notes. And then when you toggle between the B sound, you get triplets. So if I'm playing a blues or something, it'll be triplet based and it'll be eighth note based in the A sound. And I will use my foot controller to hold down between the A sound, which is eighth notes. And then if I hold it down, it would go toggle to the B sound, um, which would be triplets. And then I just use, just tap it to, um, engage or bypass the effect. So you can do this a lot of different ways. The other thing that some people do is instead of if you are only toggling between maybe one or two scenes, um, that's pretty common as well. So if you have like a clean and dirty sound, so let's say we would go, uh, let's clear this layout really quick. So we're just going to reset this. Pretty common. Um, another common thing that people do is they would use this one button somewhere and almost treat it like it's channel switching. So for example, Let's say we have a clean sound, so we'll do something like a uh, deluxe reverb. And then <clears throat> in the B channel of this amp, or in the second scene, what we'll do is we will put a Brit 800. And again, this is for demonstration purposes, there's not gonna be any playing. But in scene one, so in scene two, we have the Brit 800. And then in scene one, we have the deluxe reverb. And what you would do is here, instead of selecting scene one and putting scene two here, so you would end up having like your deluxe reverb sound here and then your Brit 800 sound here. That takes up two foot switches and we have limited real estate. Instead, what you would do is let's remove this foot switch. And what we are going to do is we are going to use the toggle function and then toggle between scene one and two, and that would be tapping. So if you tap it, it's gonna to go to between scene one and two. And what it's gonna tell you here, what's gonna display is the scene that it's going to. Remember, because the destination name is here. Um, you can also do something else. I mean, you can do a lot of different ones. Or you can keep it the current name, which is deluxe verb. We'll go over this mini display label in another video, but um, this is telling you where it's going, not where you, this is scene is telling you where you are and you can toggle between both, or if you want to do the hold function, um, you can do the scene here and toggle between scene one and two. And again, underneath, it's gonna tell you, sometimes it can help you if you have, for example, the current name and the destination name. Whoops, destination name, not number. So you can see that you're gonna switch between these two. Um, so this is pretty common. I've, I've built a ton of presets doing this so that this basically is like your channel switching um, function on one preset. And then the rest of these are free for effects and whatever else. 
So that is going to cover it for this video for hold functions. Um, there are definitely other ways to implement hold functions. There's a ton of different ways, but these are some of the basics that you would go over. And again, if there's any um, questions, by all means, feel free to leave a comment below. Reach out to me um, on any platform, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. It goes up and turns back down. We're all looking for the